There we go. If it wasn't for the mic, I could do these things pretty well. I just like, I need a, a sound person or something. Sound guy. I'm supposed to be the sound guy. I'm just really bad at it. But anyways, straight up, what is it? It's a, a, a 3D sandbox in a, a Minecraft type style, except that you operate it uh, via chat. So at the moment, you're looking at what well, you won't normally see on the screen, um, this little chat thing. This is me. You're singing this on my remote desktop. And uh, on the screen, you're seeing a bunch of crap that was laying around from like overnight. I had a script randomly running stuff. Sometimes you'll come in and you'll see that, or possibly maybe stuff that other people made. That'd be cool. Um, anyways, what you do uh, is uh, you type sandbox reset. So uh, that's what you type in the chat. So as I said, the whole thing's controlled via chat. Now I know you might not yet be accustomed to this in YouTube, but uh, this is what happens around here. So you type stuff in chat, and uh, it changes the screen. So uh, mind you that, of course, this is a live stream, so you have your usual live stream delay. If you watch live streams elsewhere, you should be accustomed uh, to that. So uh, obviously, we don't know what it is. You know, in your particular case, it might be anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. Over here I have the advantage of seeing the actual screen on which this is taking place. So I see the events, or the results right away, and it's just seconds. Now if you just type uh, sandbox, actually one, two, it's, it's really like three seconds. But anyways, if you just type sandbox, it'll, it'll give you whatever, like some entry points into the rest of the system. It informs you that this is for the sandbox theme. So if you're if you're not in the sandbox theme, none of these things make any sense. Uh, so you can type theme sandbox if it's not in the sandbox theme uh, to to put it there. At the moment, it also tells you it says type pause. I'm going to do that now uh, and box uh, to begin. Uh, and this is these are just pointers to the main uh, commands uh, which you will use to build stuff in here. So uh, if you do type pause by itself and uh, box by itself, uh, both of those commands will tell you how they operate. So pretty much this is the model or you'll see observe is implemented throughout the system. In other words, uh, wherever you are, just type one command by itself and it'll usually tell you what it does. So it also informs you that there's another command called sandbox uh, textures. I'm going to type that now. Also, you'll note that in all of the help messages and elsewhere commands uh, are are uh, displayed in uppercase. That's just so that it's easy to spot them, but you don't have to type them in uppercase. Momentarily, you'll see all of the available textures, and this will change over time, uh, displayed on the screen with their names. And you'll be like, oh, we need textures. That's cool. So what are we going to do with them? You'll see in a moment. It also says uh, that there's a sandbox BG command. And Oops. I, I, sorry, I knocked the mic off. One moment. It also informs you that there's a uh, sandbox BG command, and uh, when you type sandbox BG, you get. I, I uh, turned it off again somehow. When uh, you type sandbox BG, you disconnect your microphone. <laughs> All right. Anyways, look, uh, it changes the uh, skybox. So that's what they call the background in a 3D environment like this. There's a, there seem to be a couple of glitches with some of them. Uh, and boy, we might talk about that later. It's kind of a funny story. Anyways, you can type sandbox BG repeatedly, which I do because it's fun. There's a whole bunch in there, and it changes them randomly each time you type sandbox bg. Anyways, now that I've forgotten what all the main commands are, I'm just going to type sandbox again. And it says, did it, did, 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 did. it says for theme sandbox, and it says type pause uh, or box to begin. It also uh, gives a link. Um, at the moment, that's to the old tutorial, I suppose. When you run this later, it'll be to the new tutorial, this tutorial. Um, and there's also a link to a pastebin uh, file. 
So you can check that out. Uh, that actually has uh, a summary of some of the commands and some other stuff that's sort of advanced advanced mode. So um, anyways, pause. All right. So pause command is how you move around in the sandbox since, you know, you can't click with a mouse or anything like that. When you type pause, uh, it tells you what your build position is on the screen. And the funny thing is it gives you numbers, but honestly, I, I don't even use them. You don't need them ever, really pretty much ever. Um, it says uh, type pause center uh, to put your build position, which is what we're talking about, in the middle of the screen. This just means that when you start building stuff, this is where it's going to happen. So you can think of this as your pointer or cursor or something like that. You can move it around uh, using, like, pause north. It tells you if you type pause north, so that's why you don't really need the numbers. It does, when you type pause, it does give you the numbers, but if you, you know, want to do things that way, you can do that too. But you don't really have to. Uh, so when you type pause north, it just moves you one position north. So and uh, you type pause up, and it moves your build position one position up, right? And as there's nothing to uh, compare it to on the screen right now, that might be hard to notice, but you, we'll remedy that in a moment with the box command if you just type box. This used to be called cube, by the way, and pretty soon it's just going to be called, I think, plus. <coughs> I may use the plus symbol or the dot symbol or something. But if you type box, uh, it tells you how to use the box command. In order to make it easy, uh, it says uh, type box me. and. Uh, so this is basically like the Hello World version. Hello World for the 3D sandbox is box me. Um, and that creates a box that uses as the texture your own profile picture from YouTube. So um, uh, so you'll see if I do like pause up and I type box me again, you'll see that the build position moves up. And uh, when I type box me, then it, it makes a uh, it makes another box using my profile picture uh, as the texture. Hey, what's up? I have a visitor. That's really rare. But anyways, um, welcome visitor. You happen to have come in in the middle of recording a new demo, uh, a tutorial demo for this thing. So, um, so I'm showing how to make boxes. Now, if you just type box uh, by itself, again, it suggests you type uh, box blue, but actually on this background, I'm going to type box white and because uh, that's easy to spot. So all the main colors are there. Um, and you'll see that it makes a box, a white box right there. You'll also note that it replaces the box that was there. So so if you want to change the box, you can just change it easily like that. Like you could change it to red by typing box red, right? So you'd be like, oh man, this can take like a really long time to build stuff this way, which it would. Um, Obviously, I thought ahead with that. So, what if you want to make like a bunch of boxes, like going west, uh, like say box uh, west, right? You want to make a red box to the west. You say box red, but you just add west to it, and uh, it will put a red box to the west, right? And uh, and later I'll show you how it's easier to to get a ba your bearings on like what's east and west, right? And uh, so. But, so you'd be like, well, I mean, I could do that to make box red uh, north, right? And then you make another box to the north. Um, but, so, you could do that, but that's going to get pretty tedious, too. So you could do this. Next, you would do, like, like you could do uh, box um, green. You do green also. Uh, box green up and add an X and a number, like X8, right? So box green up, X8. And we'll see what that does. Whoa, and it made eight whole boxes uh, of green going upward, uh, eight of them. So um, again, you'll be like, hey, what? OK, so what colors are there? Well, like for that, you type again, you type, oop, I, ty I did it wrong. I should change that. Um, oh, it did it anyways. Well, apparently, you can type sandbox texture, and that works just as well. Um, and it will display the, um, cool, thanks. Um, so uh, it will display the textures on the screen. And uh, I'm going to add some more of these. I'm, I'm also making it possible for a user to specify their own texture. And again, you also have uh, the, the bonus texture, which is your own profile picture. So I'm going to say box me. So um, this is interesting, too. You can combine directions. So I'm going to make a box made with the me texture. But they're going to go south times nine of them. 
right? But I also want them to go down at the same time. So I say box me south down times nine. And it makes a diagonal line of boxes, of me boxes going down. There you go, with uh, the me texture uh, going all the way down. And let's see, so did I think, did I cover? Yeah, it's like a basic of boxes. You could also do like box, uh, what's a good one? Uh, grass, I think there's, I think there's grass. Leaves is actually better. Box leaves, uh, let's see, south, east, uh, up, times uh, nine. So, so now you get how you could do this, and you get how they're, uh, how I managed to uh, do a rainbow with other stuff. And uh, so, you already have the capability to make scripts, but I'm not going to go into that quite yet. Right now, there are, um, there are. This command called sandbox run. Oh, uh, apparently you can just type run. Um, yes, thank you. Visitor Fuse Designer says this is basically Minecraft. <laughs> and uh, yes, of course, I mean, with all uh, props to God, I could go on for hours about how awesome Minecraft is, obviously, and how they got what Second Life did not get. Um, but so there's a run command, and uh, let me quickly introduce um, uh, build scripts. Oh, so also, I mean, you don't have to draw your way all over the screen you could pause right so you use your pause and you could also use like pause um where am i east pause west north down times six right so you could do that just like as you do with the box command um <laughs> uh, as you do with the box command so that and so that like moves me back now so let's make some white boxes box uh west east south up times five so that makes a line of white boxes oh there's another texture I forgot to mention which is um, see so I, I, I replaced those those boxes so that's another way you could draw stuff you could draw your way around the screen and then replace things as you need to and I, I totally got off track from the, the run command oh but I forgot to mention there's another texture um, well, let's move back to the center of the screen if you want to move back to the center of the world, actually, really, um, is uh, a, a fast way is just to type pause center. Or you can type pause and zero, zero, zero. And I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. If you type pause by itself, it will give you instructions on how to use the pause command. Let me reset the whole sandbox since I made like a, a mess here. So sandbox reset will clear the whole sandbox. There's another texture, one final texture I want to cover before we go on to build scripts uh, properly. And uh, that is the media texture. There's not a whole lot to say about it, except it's really cool. It's uh, an, an animated GIF instead of just a regular texture. Um, it doesn't show up in the list of textures yet, but it probably will. So I'll now like box media south up times six, and it'll draw a diagonal line of these bizarre texture. Um, so it's an animated GIF. There is not yet a command uh, for you from the chat to change what the GIF is, but you will be able to. So you'll be able to specify whatever uh, you know uh, animated GIF you want to use there instead. And I do hope to allow you to specify a video from your own channel too, which is a real trick with YouTube, thanks to the way YouTube does it. Damn them. But um, okay. So then one last thing was the uh, build scripts. So. You might have come in and seen like some rather complex objects built, and those were built by hand the first time, but then they were saved into scripts, which, which then can get run. And I'll show you what they look like. Um, oops, they look like uh, here's one for um, the tropical tree. Um, it looks just like you think it does. It's a big list of build commands, right? Box brown, box bark north box bark east, south, um, up times three, and then it just goes on and on and on. Um, so it just runs that um, in in order. Um, and there's like a whole bunch of these, and if you run the, um, what's it called? Oh, apparently you can just type run. You don't have to type sandbox run. Um, so if you just type the run command, it will, it will give you some information about how to do that. Um, it also says you can use run mine to run your private script. And uh, so that's going to cover how to make your own build script. And uh, so, you know, um, there is a, there's a paste bin for that. So 
you don't want to look into that. That's going to be, I'll leave that again as an exercise to the reader. And the build script um, paste bin does mention some uh, build scripts in there, which are cool, so you can check them out. Um, you know, like one of them, I'll run, I'll run a build script. So uh, you do run flower.sm, and uh, it will run a small, uh, it will run the build script for a small flower. Um, interesting geek aside, well, while we're watching it run that flower, oh, and, and it will begin the build script from wherever your build position currently is. Uh, every user has their own build position. Um, they're all kept independently. You've got to type sandbox anyways to figure out what's going on because those instructions will update over time and, uh, and it'll have a link to the latest pro tips and stuff. Uh, so, special shout outs to our visitor, um, Fuse, uh, Fuse Designer. Um, ah, that's true, good point. Yeah, why did I call this sandbox? So, the funny thing is, <coughs> Um, this is actually one of, of many themes in the in the um, system in the bot, but the uh, um, it's kind of taken over. I think the other themes are kind of irrelevant now. And uh, I, I had another th 3D theme that was like full on 3D, but I think this works better for a couple of different reasons. One, people understand this paradigm and it works. And I did rant for a while on my previous about how Minecraft gets correct what Second Life got wrong, which is that th you really just need a simple way for people to make stuff with their friends in 3D. And it doesn't matter if it looks like, quote, looks like crap. That's not even important. And uh, so, um, anyways, so I just really, you know, kind of wanted to bring that experience as another feature of the bot. But now everybody thinks this is the coolest part of the bot, which I agree. So I'm working on this like most of the time now. Anyways, enough about that. We now return you to your regularly scheduled Drone Sounds TV again. Special thanks to our visitor during the tutorial, Fuse Designer. Check out their channel uh, on YouTube at uh, Fuse Designer. I don't know, just search for that. <laughs> they design fuses, and uh, cool. Uh, catch you later. Monkey out.